Hi guys, here we are introducing the new Projection 3D 4.2. It's a very useful update that will make things more convenient for you and it will help you master P3D very quickly. And right away I want to point out one very important thing, the user guide. So we worked on it for a very long time and we actually managed to collect all the training material that will introduce you to the plugins interface, content of the menus, submenus and frequently asked questions and things like that. It will pretty much become your personal assistant, and every time you have difficulties, you won't need to look at the earlier tutorials to find answers. Just open it up and it will show you what each button does. So each topic in the file menu has its own tutorial or projection menu. Look, you can select any topic and search through it in detail. Want to know how to match camera? Just click here and you'll get a full tutorial on how to do it. Go to Create Projection and you shall learn about it too. See? Everything is simple and at your fingertips. We hope that this guide will make Projection 3D more accessible and easy to understand and save you plenty of time. Alright, let's see what else we've got. Here in the Tools menu we've actually added Modeling Toolkit. You'll find all these modeling tools in one single window now. You just switch between those and do your work. There's no need to open a new tool every single time. Simply select the tool you need and it will open the interface for you. It's very useful, I'm sure you'll like it a lot. Okay, moving on. Here we've added a new projection menu with all these buttons. Look, there's Match Camera, Create projection, add scene, projection image, and some other very useful things. Now, all the main functions, tools, and utilities are at the top menu, and you can work very conveniently in the mini mode as well. Okay, so now let's match camera. And now let's create projection. I'll go to projection menu to create one. There. If two scenes is not enough, just add another one. All right, then we also have this update legacy project. So this thing will help you update projects created in the older versions and rename your new ones. You simply select Master Scene and give it a new name. And you can see that now projection scenes have both the number and the name of the master scene. In the same way, you can update your legacy project structure. Just go to Find the Main Com, give it a new name, and update. And that's it. All right, and so the last one is canvas size. Let's say we have white area here and we need to fix it. And we know how to increase canvas size in Photoshop and paint area, but how do you do that in After Effects? Well, that's very simple. You select the scene you need, then you go to the image menu and click Edit, and that opens a window where you can change canvas size. If you don't need to apply any changes, just click OK. So I'll just increase the width and click OK. And now I can draw the missing part using Clone Stamp. Let's take a look now. Yep, it's ready. So I hope this update will be useful for you guys and hopefully it will make your work more comfortable. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.